This article provides a list of political scandals that involve officials from the government of the United States, sorted from most recent date to least recent. Topic: <laughs> Scope and organization of political scandals. This article is organized by presidential terms in reverse order, recent to older, and then divided into scandals of the federal executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government. Members of both parties are listed under the term of the president in office at the time the scandal took place, even though they may not be connected with the presiding president. Politician a person who is professionally involved in politics includes not only those elected, but also party officials, candidates for office, their staffs and appointees. Please note that every president directly selects, appoints or hires several thousand people. Each of them selects thousands more. Private citizens should only be mentioned when they are closely linked to the scandal or politician, such as Jack Abramoff. This list also does not include crimes that occur outside the politician's tenure such as before or after his tenure unless they specifically stem from acts made while in office and discovered later. Scandal is defined as loss of or damage to reputation caused by actual or apparent violation of morality or propriety." Scandals are separate from «controversies», which implies two differing points of view and «in popularity». Many decisions are controversial, many decisions are unpopular, that alone does not make them scandals. Breaking the law is a scandal. The finding of a court is the sole method used to determine a violation of law, but it is not the sole method of determining a scandal. Also included as scandals are politicians who resign, quit, run, or commit suicide while being investigated or threatened with investigation. Notoriety is a major determinant of a scandal, that is, the amount of press dedicated to it. So a relatively unimportant scandal such as the Clinton-Lewinsky scandal is included, even though no crime was committed. Misunderstandings, breaches of ethics, unproven crimes or cover-ups may or may not result in inclusion depending on the standing of the accused, the amount of publicity generated, and the seriousness of the crime, if any. Drunk driving may be a conviction, but is usually too minor and too common to mention unless there are multiple convictions and or jail time. Given the political nature of Congress in which the leading party has determining power, politicians who are rebuked, admonished, condemned, suspended, reprimanded, found in contempt, found to have acted improperly or used poor judgment, are not included unless the scandal is exceptional or leads to expulsion or conviction. <laughs> <laughs> Federal government scandals Topic: Donald Trump administration 2017 present. Topic: Executive branch. Paul Manafort, R, 2016 campaign chairman to President Donald Trump, R, was convicted of bank fraud and filing false tax returns to hide funds, 2018. Scott Pruitt R, Administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency resigned citing increasing numbers of investigations into his administration. The EPA's own chief ethics official had been pushing for independent studies into Pruitt's actions and 13 other separate investigations were underway, including alleged corruption for personal gain, salary increases without White House approval, use of government staff on personal projects and unnecessary spending on offices and security. He resigned July 5, 2018 Albert Kelly R. EPA Superfund Task Force Director and top aide to EPA Chief Scott Pruitt R. resigned amid scrutiny of his previous actions as leader of a bank in Oklahoma which led to $125,000 fine and lifetime ban from banking. 2018 Pasquale Nino Parata EPA Security Administrator resigned after allegations of lavish spending and improper contracts. 2018 Samantha Dravis R. EPA Associate Administrator and Senior Counsel in the Office of Policy resigned abruptly after allegations of being a no-show employee. 2018 Foreign Policy Advisor George Papadopoulos R. pleaded guilty to making false statements to FBI agents relating to contacts he had with agents of the Russian government while working for the Trump campaign. He was sentenced to 14 days in prison, 12 months probation, and 200 hours community service. 2017 
Michael Flynn National Security Advisor, was forced to resign on February 13, 2017, over conversations he had with Russian envoys about sanctions during the transition. On December 1, 2017, Flynn pleaded guilty to charges of lying to the FBI as a plea bargain in exchange for cooperation against another Trump transition official who directed his alleged communications with the Russian government. 2017. Dr. William C. Bradford resigned from the United States Department of Energy Office of Indian Energy amid reports that he had made racial slurs directed at Barack Obama on Discuss and Twitter. Bradford had claimed that some of the comments were the result of identity theft and not his. 2017. Tom Price, R. Health and Human Services Secretary, was forced to resign on September 29, 2017, after it was discovered that he spent hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars on private flights. Center for Disease Control Director Dr. Brenda Fitzgerald R. was forced to resign on January 31, 2018, after it was discovered that she bought stock in tobacco, the leading cause of preventable death in the U.S., and creating a conflict of interest. Taylor Wayanath R. Deputy Cuz at the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy resigned when it was revealed the 24-year-old had no qualifications for the position and no related work history other than working on President Trump's campaign 2018. David Sorensen R. White House speechwriter, resigned after his ex-wife Jessica Corbett came forward with abuse allegations, 2018. Vivica Wright Simpson, Chief of Staff to Secretary of Veterans Affairs David Shulkin I. resigned after an Inspector General report charged that she altered an email to make it appear Shulkin was getting an award during a trip to Europe in order to gain approval to use taxpayer dollars to pay for Shulkin's wife to accompany him. Rob Porter, White House Staff Secretary R. resigned from the position on February 7, 2018, following public allegations of spousal abuse from his two ex-wives, Colby Holderness and Jennifer Willoughby. The allegations were supported by photographs of a black eye and a restraining order. The Washington Post reported that White House counsel Donald McGahn had known since January 2017 about the allegations Porter's ex-wives made to the FBI, and that Chief of Staff John F. Kelly had known about the allegations since October 2017, still promoting Porter after. Post reporter Aaron Blake wrote that this development made the allegations a full-blown scandal. Kelly told reporters on March 2, 2018, that he sought Porter's resignation immediately after learning of the accusations on February 6 and regretted his handling of Porter's departure, statements that were at odds with earlier White House statements and congressional testimony by FBI Director, Christopher Wray. Tony Took Chief of the U.S. Forest Service, resigned after a series of sexual harassment and retaliation accusations, 2018. Rick Gates, R. 2016 Deputy Campaign Chairman to President Donald Trump, R. pleaded guilty to conspiracy and lying to investigators concerning his work lobbying with Ukraine as well as tax and bank fraud, 2018. Michael Cohen, lawyer, R. Personal attorney to President Donald Trump, R. and Vice President to the Trump Organization, pleaded guilty to tax evasion, bank fraud and illegal campaign contributions. He also helped arrange non-disclosure agreements to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal who allegedly had affairs with Trump. Cohen pleaded guilty to eight counts of tax evasion and making false statement. 2018 <laughs> <laughs> Legislative branch U.S. Representative Duncan Hunter RCA, and wife were indicted in federal court on dozens of charges, including wire fraud and using campaign funds for personal use. U.S. Representative Chris Collins RNY, was arrested by the FBI and charged with wire fraud, conspiracy to commit securities fraud, seven counts of securities fraud, and lying to the FBI. U.S. Representative Steve Stockman RTX, orchestrated a scheme to steal money from charitable foundations and the individuals who ran them. The funds were used to finance Stockman's campaigns and personal expenses. He was convicted on 23 felony counts of perjury, fraud and money laundering and sentenced to 10 years. 2018, Jason T. Posey R, Director of Special Projects and Campaign Treasurer for Stephen E. Stockman at the personal direction and supervision of Stockman, Posey took almost $1 million from various sources and illegally funneled it into Stockman's 2014 Senate campaign. He pled guilty to mail fraud, wire fraud, money laundering and conduit contributions. 2013, 
Thomas Dodd R. Special Assistant to Steve Stockman pled guilty to two conspiracy charges and agreed to cooperate with prosecutors. 2013 U.S. Representative Blake Farenthold RTX resigned in the wake of reports he used public funds to settle a sexual harassment lawsuit and had created an intensely hostile work environment for women in his congressional office. U.S. Representative Pat Meehan RPA resigned following the revelation that he used taxpayers' money to settle a sexual harassment claim brought by a female staff member. U.S. Representative Corrine Brown DFL was found guilty of fraud for using $800,000 from a fake charity for her own personal use. She was sentenced to five years, 2018. Ronnie Simmons D cuz to U.S. Representative Corrine Brown DFL pled guilty to fraud, 2017. Asterisk U.S. Representative Timothy F. Murphy RPA, the married, anti-abortion congressman resigned just before an investigation could begin concerning his allegedly urging his mistress to seek an abortion, 2017. U.S. Representative Greg Gianforte RMT body slammed political reporter Ben Jacobs. As part of his settlement with Jacobs, Gianforte donated $50,000 to the Committee to Protect Journalists. Gianforte was then found guilty of assault and sentenced to 40 hours of community service, 20 hours of anger management, a 180 day deferred sentence, a $385 fine, and court fee. 2017. U.S. Senator Al Franken DMN announced that he would resign on January 2, 2018, after several accusations of sexual misconduct. U.S. Representative Trent Franks RAS from the 8th District abruptly resigned when confronted about sexual misconduct with his staff 2017. Clint Reed R cuz for U.S. Senator Marco Rubio RFL was fired for allegations of improper conduct and threats to withhold employment benefits from an unnamed subordinate. 2018 Judicial branch U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit Judge Alex Kaczynski retired following allegations of sexual misconduct from several women, including former clerks. Barack Obama Administration Executive branch Catherine Archuleta, Director of the Office of Personnel Management, resigned on July 10, 2015, after cyber intrusions allowed the theft of data concerning 22 million people, some of whom had applied for sensitive security clearances. Hillary Clinton email controversy Throughout her tenure as Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton D used an unsecured private server to send and receive personal and classified material. The FBI investigation found that 110 messages contained information that was classified at the time it was sent, however only a very small number were marked classified. Director of the FBI James Comey R testified that the three other emails in question were not properly marked as classified and did not have a classification header. Her aides subsequently deleted about 31,000 emails from the server that Clinton regarded as personal correspondence. Director of the FBI James Comey R found no evidence to suggest Clinton or her staff deleted these emails in an attempt to conceal them. He also found too little evidence to charge her with any crime. Veterans Health Administration scandal of 2014 officials in the Phoenix, VA hospital lied about how long the wait times were for veterans to see a doctor. The newly selected Secretary of Veterans Affairs, General Eric Shinseki, voluntarily resigned. 2013 IRS scandal, IRS admitted to inappropriate investigation of conservative political groups associated with the Tea Party that may not have met the criteria for certain tax exemptions. Later, it was found that the IRS investigated groups with the label, progressives, as well. The president demanded and accepted the resignation of Stephen T. Miller, acting commissioner of the Internal Revenue Service. Other actions arising from the scandal included, Lois Lerner, head of the IRS Office of Exempt Organizations, stated she had not done anything wrong and then took the fifth before the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform. She retired in 2013 after an internal investigation found that she neglected her duties and was going to call for her ouster. 
Joseph H. Grant, Commissioner of the IRS Tax Exempt and Government Entities Division, resigned on May 16, 2013. ATF gunwalking scandal. Attorney General Eric Holder D was held in contempt of Congress after refusing to release all documents which the House of Representatives had demanded concerning the fast and furious gunwalking operation. He did not resign and no charges were brought. 2012. Terence Flynn R., an appointee of Barack Obama to the National Labor Relations Board, resigned in May 2012 after being accused of serious ethical violations by leaking information to the National Association of Manufacturers. Martha N. Johnson D., head of the General Services Administration, fired two top GSA officials and then resigned herself after it was revealed that $822,000 had been spent in Las Vegas on a four-day training conference for 300 GSA employees. 2010. Petraeus scandal. On November 9, 2012, David Petraeus resigned as director of the CIA after admitting having a sexual relationship with his biographer. On April 23, 2015, Petraeus pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge of mishandling classified materials. He was given a two-year probationary period and a fine of $100,000. <laughs> Legislative branch Chaka Fata DPA from Pennsylvania's 2nd District was found guilty on all 23 charges he faced, which included racketeering, money laundering and fraud. He was sentenced to 10 years and resigned from Congress on June 23, 2016. Anthony Weiner DNY from New York's 9th Congressional District resigned from Congress in June 2011 when the first of what would become multiple sexting scandals were made public. David Wu DOR for Oregon's 1st Congressional District announced he would resign from Congress, four days after a report that a young woman called his office complaining of an unwanted sexual encounter with the congressman. Chris Lee RNY for New York's 26th Congressional District resigned after he solicited a woman on Craigslist and emailed a shirtless photo of himself. 2011. Dennis Hastert R. Ill, pleaded guilty to charges that he violated banking rules and lied to the FBI in a scheme to pay $3.5 million in hush money to conceal sexual misconduct with an underage boy from his days as a high school wrestling coach, from 1965 to 1981, 2015. Aaron Schock R. Ill, resigned from office after evidence surfaced that he used campaign funds for travel, redecorated his office with taxpayer funds to resemble the sets of the Downton Abbey TV series, and otherwise spent campaign and or taxpayer money on other questionable personal uses. 2015, Benjamin Cole R. Schock's senior advisor, had resigned earlier after he allegedly condemned hood rats and black miscreants in internet posts. Schock's office stated, I am extremely disappointed by the inexcusable and offensive online comments made by a member of my staff." Brett O'Donnell, communications director for Kathy McMorris Rogers R. Waugh, plead guilty to lying to investigators from the House Office of Congressional Ethics about working for Rogers while being paid with campaign money, thus becoming the first person ever to be convicted of lying to the House OCE. Thaddeus McCotter R. Me, resigned his congressional seat. Four of his staff were convicted by the state of Michigan of falsifying signatures on McCotter's re-election petitions for the 2012 elections. Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte R. blamed McCotter for running a slipshod, leaderless operation. The congressman has resigned in disgrace, Schutte said, though McCotter was not charged. Paul Sewald worked for McCotter as his district director of the Michigan's 11th Congressional District. He pleaded guilty to nine counts of falsely signing a nominating petition as circulator. He was sentenced to two years probation and 100 hours of community service, and ordered to pay court costs and fees. Don Yaochuang worked for McCotter as deputy district director of the Michigan 11th Congressional District. He pleaded guilty to 10 counts of forgery and 6 counts of falsely signing a nominating petition and was sentenced to three years of probation, 200 hours of community service, court costs and fees. Mary M. Turnbull was McCotter's representative to the Michigan 11th Congressional District. She was convicted of conspiring to commit a legal act in an illegal manner and falsely signing a nominating petition. She was sentenced to two years of probation, a day in jail, and 200 hours of community service. Turnbull was also ordered to pay a $1,440 fine. In addition, she is forbidden from any participation in elections or the political process. 
Lorianne O'Brady worked as a scheduler for McCotter in the Michigan 11th Congressional District. She pleaded no contest to charges that she falsely claimed to have legally collected signatures to get McCotter on the ballot when she actually had not. She was sentenced to 20 days in jail and a work program plus $2,625 in fines and court costs. Senator Mitch McConnell's RKY campaign manager Jesse Benton R resigned when details of a bribery scandal from Ron Paul's 2012 presidential campaign came to light. 2014. David Rivera RFL was indicted as a co-conspirator with campaign manager Anna Aliegro, who pleaded guilty to violation of U.S. campaign laws in an $81,000 campaign finance scheme to prop up a little-known Democratic candidate who used the illegal cash to trash Rivera's rival in the 2012 Democratic primary. Rivera was not convicted. Anna Aliegro, R, the campaign manager for David Rivera RFL, pleaded guilty to violation of U.S. campaign laws. She was given six months in jail and six months of house arrest plus two years of probation. 2014, Rick Renzi R. As, on June 12, 2013, was found guilty of 17 counts against him, which included wire fraud, conspiracy, extortion, racketeering, money laundering, and making false statements to insurance regulators. Senator Mike Crapo RID, was arrested on December 23, 2012, and later pleaded guilty to drinking and driving in a Virginia court. The court fined him $250. He was sentenced to 180 days in prison, but served no time. Trey Rattle RFL was arrested on October 29, 2013, in Washington, D.C. for possession of cocaine after purchasing the drug from an undercover law enforcement officer. As a first-time offender, he pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor in a Washington, D.C. court, and was sentenced to one year of probation and fined $250. Rattle took a leave of absence from office to undergo substance abuse treatment following his conviction. Following treatment, he initially returned to office with the intent of finishing his term, but eventually resigned on January 27, 2014. Jesse L. Jackson Jr. D. Ill, pleaded guilty to one felony count of fraud for using $750,000 of campaign money to buy personal items such as stuffed animals, elk heads and fur capes. Laura Richardson DCA was found guilty on seven counts of violating U.S. House rules by improperly using her staff to campaign for her, destroying the evidence and tampering with witness testimony. The House Ethics Committee ordered Richardson to pay a fine of $10,000. 2012. John Ensign RNV resigned his Senate seat on May 3, 2011, just before the Senate Ethics Committee could examine possible fiscal violations in connection with his extramarital affair with Cynthia Hampton. 2011, see federal sex scandals. In May 2012, aide Doug Hampton R in what became the John Ensign scandal reached a plea deal with prosecutors, the details of which have not yet been released. Michael Grimm RNY, pleaded guilty to tax fraud on December 23, 2014, and was sentenced to eight months in federal prison. John Tate R, campaign manager for Ron Paul RTX, was indicted for concealing over $73,000 in payments to Iowa State Senator Kent Sorensen to convince him to flip his presidential endorsement from Michelle Bachman to Paul. He was convicted of conspiracy, causing false records, causing false campaign expenditure reports, and making false statements. He was sentenced to six months home confinement, two years probation and fined $10,000. 2016 Dimitri Kesari Deputy Campaign Manager for Ron Paul RTX, was convicted of causing false records concerning charges of buying an Iowa State Senator's endorsement during the 2012 presidential campaign. 2012. Fred Pagan R, Office Administrator to U.S. Senator Thad Cochran RMS, pled guilty to possession of methamphetamine with intent to distribute and was sentenced to 30 months in prison. 2016 Jesse Benton R, Campaign Chairman for Ron Paul RTX, concealed over $73,000 in payments to Iowa State Senator Kent Sorensen to convince him to flip his presidential endorsement from Michelle Bachman to Ron Paul. He was convicted of conspiracy, causing false records, causing false campaign expenditure reports, and making false statements. He was sentenced to six months home confinement, fined $10,000 and two years probation 2016. Scott Desjardins RTN, while running for re-election on a pro-life platform, it was discovered that he had made his wife have two abortions, and tried to persuade his mistress, who was also his patient, to have one as well. 
He also admitted under oath that while a married physician at Grandview Medical Center in Jasper, Tennessee, he had six affairs with three co-workers, two patients and a drug representative. He was investigated by the Tennessee Board of Health, pleaded guilty and was fined. 2012. Robert Deshane D. Cuz to U.S. Representative Steve Rothman DNJ, was sentenced to 18 months in prison for soliciting sex from a minor. 2011. Adam Kuhn R. Cuz to U.S. Representative Steve Stivers R.O. resigned abruptly after a former porn actress posted an explicit photo of his penis online. 2014. Mike Crapo RID, U.S. Senator, pleaded guilty to a drunk driving charge on January 4, 2012, and was fined $250, and received a one-year suspension of his driver's license, 2012. David Wybe R, top aide to U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte RNH, resigned after he was arrested in a prostitution sting in Nashua. 2015 Topic. Judicial branch Alabama District Judge Mark E. Fuller R. appointed by Republican George W. Bush was found guilty of domestic violence, sentenced to domestic training and forced to resign, 2015. Eastern Louisiana Federal Judge G. Thomas Porteous appointed by Democrat Bill Clinton, was unanimously impeached by the U.S. House of Representatives on charges of bribery and perjury in March 2010. He was convicted by the U.S. Senate and removed from office, 2010. Galveston, Texas Federal District Judge Samuel B. Kent R. was sentenced to 33 months in prison for lying about sexually harassing two female employees. He had been appointed to office by President George H. W. Bush in 1990. Resigned after being impeached on June 10, 2009. Senior Federal U.S. District Court Judge Jack T. Camp for the Northern District of GA, who was appointed by Republican Ronald Reagan and again by Republican George W. Bush, was arrested in an undercover drug bust while trying to purchase cocaine from an FBI agent. Judge Camp resigned after pleading guilty to three criminal charges. He was sentenced to 30 days in jail, 400 hours community service and fine. Federal Judge Richard F. Sabol R. for the District of Montana, was found to have sent hundreds of racist and sexist emails. After an investigation led to calls for his impeachment, Sabol took senior status and then resigned. 2013 <laughs> George W. Bush Administration 2001-2009 <laughs> Topic. Executive branch Joseph E. Schmitz R. was nominated by President George W. Bush R. to be Defense Department Inspector General on June 18, 2001. He resigned on September 9, 2005, in the wake of several allegations by Senator Charles Grassley R. Iowa, including that he had obstructed the FBI investigation of John A. Shaw. Walter Reed Army Medical Center Neglect Scandal 2007 about substandard conditions for wounded soldiers at Walter Reed Army Medical Center including long delays in treatment, rodent infestation and outbreaks of mold resulted in the relief of three senior staff. Francis J. Harvey R. Secretary of the Army, appointed by G. W. Bush, resigned. Maj. Gen. George Whiteman was fired for failures linked to the scandal. Lt. Gen. Kevin C. Kiley R. appointed by G. W. Bush, was relieved of command resigned for failures linked to the scandal. Felipe Sixto was appointed by President George W. Bush to be his special assistant for intergovernmental affairs as well as duty director at the Office of Public Liaison. He resigned a few weeks later on March 20, 2008, because of his misuse of grant money from the U.S. Agency for International Development when he had worked for the Center for a Free Cuba. He was sentenced to 30 months in prison for stealing almost $600,000 for personal use. Timothy Gogline, special assistant to President Bush, resigned in 2008 when it was discovered that more than 20 of his columns had been plagiarized from an Indiana newspaper. Scott Block was appointed by President George W. Bush to head the United States Office of Special Counsel. On April 27, 2010, Block pleaded guilty to criminal contempt of Congress for willfully and unlawfully withholding pertinent information from a House committee investigating his decision to have several government computers wiped." On February 2, Magistrate Judge Deborah A. Robinson ruled that Block faces a mandatory sentence of at least one month in prison. 
Lewis Scooter Libby, Chief of Staff to Vice President Dick Cheney R., was convicted of perjury and obstruction of justice in the Plame Affair on March 6, 2007. He was sentenced to 30 months in prison and fined $250,000. The sentence was commuted by George W. Bush on July 1, 2007. The felony remains on Libby's record, though the jail time and fine were commuted. President Donald Trump fully pardoned Libby on April 13, 2018. Alfonso Jackson, the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, resigned while under investigation by the Justice Department for alleged cronyism and favoritism. Karl Rove, senior advisor to President George W. Bush, was investigated by the Office of Special Counsel for improper political influence over government decision making, as well as for his involvement in several other scandals such as Lawyer Gate, Bush White House email controversy, and Plame Affair. He resigned in April 2007. See Karl Rove in the George W. Bush administration. Richard J. Griffin, the Assistant Secretary of State for Diplomatic Security appointed by George W. Bush who made key decisions regarding the department's oversight of private security contractor Blackwater USA, resigned in November 2007, after a critical review by the House Oversight Committee found that his office had failed to adequately supervise private contractors during the Blackwater Baghdad shootings protecting U.S. diplomats in Iraq. Republican contributor Howard Crongard was appointed Inspector General of the U.S. State Department by President George W. Bush in 2005, was accused by the House Oversight Committee of improperly interfering with investigations into private security contractor Blackwater USA concerning the Blackwater Baghdad shootings. Crongard resigned in December 2007. Lawyer Gate or the dismissal of U.S. attorney's controversy refers to President Bush firing, without explanation, 11 Republican federal prosecutors whom he himself had appointed. It is alleged that they were fired for prosecuting Republicans and not prosecuting Democrats. When congressional hearings were called, a number of senior Justice Department officials cited executive privilege and refused to testify under oath and instead resigned, including, Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, Karl Rove, advisor to President Bush Harriet Mears, legal counsel to President Bush, was found in contempt of Congress Michael A. Battle, director of Executive Office of U.S. Attorneys in the Justice Department Bradley Slosman, director of Executive Office of U.S. Attorneys who replaced Battle Michael Elston, chief of staff to Deputy Attorney General Paul McNulty Paul McNulty, deputy attorney general to William Mercer William W. Mercer, Associate Attorney General to Alberto Gonzalez Kyle Sampson, Chief of Staff to Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez Monica Goodling, Liaison between President Bush and the Justice Department Joshua Bolton, Deputy Chief of Staff to President Bush was found in contempt of Congress Sarah M. Taylor, aide to presidential adviser Carl Rove Bush White House email controversy. During the Lawyer Gate investigation, it was discovered that the Bush administration used Republican National Committee (RNC) web servers for millions of emails, which were then destroyed, lost, or deleted in possible violation of the Presidential Records Act and the Hatch Act. George W. Bush, Dick Cheney, Carl Rove, Andrew Card, Sarah Taylor, and Scott Jennings all used RNC web servers for the majority of their emails. Of 88 officials investigated, 51 showed no emails at all. As many as 5 million emails requested by congressional investigators were therefore unavailable, lost, or deleted. Loretta Alexis Doan R. Administrator of General Services, investigated for the most pernicious of political activity at work. The team also recommended she be disciplined to the fullest extent. Among other things she asked GSA employees how they could help Republican candidates. She resigned. 2000 J. Stephen Griles R. Deputy to the Secretary of the Interior pled guilty to obstruction of justice and was sentenced to 10 months. John Corsmo, Chairman of the Federal Housing Finance Board, pleaded guilty to lying to Congress and sentenced to 18 months of unsupervised probation and fined $5,000. 2005 Darlene A. Druyan was the Principal Deputy Under Secretary of the Air Force nominated by George W. Bush. She pleaded guilty to inflating the price of contracts to favor her future employer, Boeing. 
In October 2004, she was sentenced to nine months in jail for corruption, fined $5,000, given three years of supervised release and 150 hours of community service. She began her prison term on January 5, 2005. CBS News called it, "...the biggest Pentagon scandal in 20 years," and said that she pleaded guilty to a felony. Philip Cooney R. Bush appointed to chair the Council on Environmental Quality, was accused of editing government climate reports to emphasize doubts about global warming. Two days later, Cooney announced his resignation and later conceded his role in altering reports. Stating, My sole loyalty was to the president and advancing the policies of his administration. Jack Abramoff Indian lobbying scandal was a prominent Republican lobbyist with close ties to administration legislators, officials and staff who offered bribes as part of his lobbying efforts. Abramoff was sentenced to four years in prison. See also Georeg W. Bush Legislative Branch for 11 legislators and staff caught in the investigation. Executive branch personnel involved include, David Safavian R. cause of the GSA General Services Administration was convicted of making false statements as part of the Jack Abramoff lobbying and corruption scandal and was sentenced to one year in prison, 2005 found guilty of blocking justice and lying, and sentenced to 18 months. Roger Stilwell R. staff in the Department of the Interior, pleaded guilty and received two years suspended sentence. Susan B. Ralston R. Special Assistant to the President and Senior Advisor to Karl Rove, resigned on October 6, 2006, after it became known that she accepted gifts and passed information to her former boss Jack Abramoff. J. Stephen Griles R. Deputy to the Secretary of the Interior pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice and was sentenced to 10 months. Italia Federici R. Staff to the Secretary of the Interior and President of the Council of Republicans for Environmental Advocacy, pled guilty to tax evasion and obstruction of justice. She was sentenced to four years probation. Jared Carpenter R. Vice President of the Council of Republicans for Environmental Advocacy, was discovered during the Abramoff investigation and pled guilty to income tax evasion. He got 45 days, plus four years probation. Mark Zakares R. Staff in the Department of Labor, bribed by Abramoff, guilty of conspiracy to defraud. Robert E. Coughlin R. Deputy Chief of Staff of the Criminal Division of the Justice Department, pleaded guilty to conflict of interest after accepting bribes from Jack Abramoff. 2008, Kyle Fogo R. CIA Executive Director was convicted of honest services fraud in the awarding of a government contract and sentenced to 37 months in federal prison at Pine Knot, Kentucky. On September 29, 2008, Fogo pleaded guilty to one count of the indictment, admitting that while he was the CIA executive director, he acted to steer a CIA contract to the firm of his lifelong friend, Brent R. Wilkes. Julie McDonald R. Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Department of the Interior, resigned on May 1, 2007, after giving government documents to developers 2007, Claude Allen R. appointed as an advisor by President Bush R. on domestic policy, was arrested for a series of felony thefts in retail stores. He was convicted on one count and resigned soon after. Lester Crawford, Commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, resigned after two months. He pleaded guilty to conflict of interest and received a three-year suspended sentence and fined $90,000 the 2003 invasion of Iraq depended on intelligence that Saddam Hussein was developing weapons of mass destruction, WMDs, meaning nuclear, chemical and or biological weapons for offensive use. As revealed by the British Downing Street Memo, Bush wanted to remove Saddam, through military action, justified by the conjunction of terrorism and WMD. But the intelligence and the facts were being fixed around the policy. The press called this the Smoking Gun. 2005. Yellowcake forgery. Just before the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the Bush administration presented evidence to the UN that Iraq was seeking material, yellowcake uranium, in Africa for making nuclear weapons. Though presented as true, it was later found to be not only dubious but outright false. Coalition Provisional Authority Cash Payment Scandal – On June 20, 2005, the staff of the Committee on Government Reform prepared a report for Congressman Henry Waxman. It was revealed that $12 billion in cash had been delivered to Iraq by C-130 planes, on shrinkwrapped pallets of U.S. $100 bills. 
The United States House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, concluded that many of the funds appear to have been lost to corruption and waste. Some of the funds could have enriched both criminals and insurgents. Henry Waxman, commented. Who in their right mind would send 363 tons of cash into a war zone? A single flight to Iraq on December 12, 2003, which contained $1.5 billion in cash is said to be the largest single Federal Reserve payout in U.S. history according to Henry Waxman. Bush administration payment of columnists were done with federal funds to say nice things about Republican policies. Illegal payments were made to journalists Armstrong Williams, Maggie Gallagher and Michael McManus 2004-2005. John A. Shaw R. was appointed by George W. Bush as Under Secretary of Defense. He was investigated on corruption although charges were never filed against him, he was asked to resign in 2004. When he refused to resign, he was fired by the Bush administration on December 10, 2004. The Bernard Carrick nomination in 2004 as Secretary of Homeland Security was derailed by past employment of an illegal alien as a nanny, and other improprieties. On November 4, 2009, he pleaded guilty to two counts of tax fraud and five counts of lying to the federal government and was sentenced to four years in prison. Plame Affair, CIA agent Valerie Plame's name was leaked by Richard Armitage, Deputy Secretary of State, to the press in retaliation for her husband's criticism of the reports used by George W. Bush to legitimize the Iraq War. Armitage admitted he was the leak but no wrongdoing was found. Thomas A. Scully, Administrator of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services CMS, withheld information from Congress about the projected cost of the Medicare Prescription Drug, Improvement, and Modernization Act, and allegedly threatened to fire Medicare's chief actuary, Richard Foster, if Foster provided the data to Congress. 2003, a few days after the bill was signed, Scully resigned 2003, NSA warrantless surveillance. Shortly after the September 11 attacks in 2001, President George W. Bush R implemented a secret program by the National Security Agency to eavesdrop on domestic telephone calls by American citizens without warrants, thus bypassing the FISA court, which must approve all such actions. 2002. In 2010, federal judge Von Walker ruled this practice to be illegal. Janet Rehnquist daughter of former Chief Justice William Rehnquist was the appointed Inspector General of the Department of Health and Human Services by George W. Bush. In 2002, Governor Jeb Bush's RFL Chief of Staff Kathleen Shanahan asked Rehnquist to delay auditing a $571 million federal overpayment to the state of Florida. Rehnquist ordered her staff to delay the investigation for five months until after the Florida elections. When Congress began an investigation into the matter, Rehnquist resigned in March 2003, saying she wanted to spend more time with her family. John Yu, an attorney in the Office of Legal Counsel inside the Justice Department who, worked closely with Vice President Dick Cheney and the Bush Six, he wrote memos stating the right of the President to suspend sections of the ABM Treaty without informing Congress. Bypass the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act allowing warrantless wiretapping of U.S. citizens within the United States by the National Security Agency. State that the First Amendment and Fourth Amendments and the Takings Clause do not apply to the President in time of war as defined in the USA Patriot Act. Allow enhanced interrogation techniques torture because provisions of the War Crimes Act, the Third Geneva Convention, and the Torture Convention do not apply. Many of his memos have since been repudiated and reversed. Later review by the Justice Department reported that Yu and J. Bybee used poor judgment in the memos, but no charges were filed. Carl Truscott, R. Director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, was appointed in 2004 but was soon under investigation for his management style and allegations of lavish spending and misuse of resources, including requiring a large number of agents as personal security, allocating hundreds of thousands of dollars of expensive upgrades to the ATF HQ building, adding a new garage to his house, detailing 20 agents to help with his nephew's high school project, and other examples of of poor financial judgment. Truscott resigned as the ATF director on August 4, 2006. John David Roy Acheson R., assistant U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Florida, was arrested for intentions of having sex with a five-year-old. Acheson committed suicide before trial while in custody 2007. 
Ken Melman R., manager of George W. Bush's campaign for re-election and chairman of the Republican National Committee, which had proposed a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage, came out in August 2010 and admitted that he was gay. In an interview, journalist Mark M. Binder noted that Melman's roles with the RNC and the Bush campaign coincided with the Republican Party's attempts to exploit anti-gay prejudices and cement the allegiance of social conservatives." Melman stated that he deeply regretted his role in the campaign's push for a constitutional amendment that would have banned gay marriage. John Michael Farron R. Deputy White House Counsel to George W. Bush was arrested on January 6, 2010 and charged with the strangulation and attempted murder of his wife Mary Margaret Farron at their New Canaan, Connecticut home. He found guilty of attempted murder and is currently serving a 15-year jail sentence. Legislative branch U.S. Senatorial candidate James W. Treffinger RNJ, pleaded guilty in 2003 to corruption and fraud as chief executive of Essex County and ordered to pay $30,000 in restitution and serve 13 months in jail. Senator Ted Stevens RAK was convicted of seven counts of bribery and tax evasion October 27, 2008. He then lost re-election. Newly appointed U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder dismissed the charges, in the interest of justice, stating that the Justice Department had illegally withheld evidence from defense counsel. Charles Rangel DNY failed to report $75,000 income from the rental of his villa in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic and was forced to pay $11,000 in back taxes, September 2008. Rick Renzi R. As announced he would not seek another term, asterisk he was later sentenced to three years in prison after conviction on federal corruption charges of extortion, bribery, insurance fraud, money laundering and racketeering related to a 2005 money laundering scheme that netted the Flagstaff Republican more than $700,000. 2005 Mark Foley RFL resigned on September 29, 2006, after sending sexually explicit messages to former congressional pages. Frank Balance DNC admitted to a federal charge of money laundering and mail fraud in October 2005 and sentenced to four years in prison. Tom DeLay RTX, U.S. Representative and House Majority Leader, served from 1985 to 2006 when he resigned his position to undergo trial for conspiring to launder corporate money into political donations and money laundering during the 2002 elections. On November 24, 2010, DeLay was found guilty and was sentenced to three years in prison and ten years probation, respectively. The ruling was overturned on appeal. On September 19, 2013, the conviction was overturned. Jack Abramoff Indian lobbying scandal R. The lobbyist found guilty of conspiracy, tax evasion and corruption of public officials in three different courts in a wide-ranging investigation. He served 70 months and was fined $24.7 million. See George W. Bush, executive branch for eight others caught in the investigation. Legislators and staff involved include, Tom DeLay, RTX, U.S. Representative and House Majority Leader was reprimanded twice by the House Ethics Committee and his aides indicted, 2004-2005, eventually DeLay himself was investigated in October 2005 in connection with the Abramoff scandal, but not indicted. DeLay resigned from the House June 9, 2006. DeLay was found to have illegally channeled funds from Americans for a Republican majority to Republican state legislator campaigns. He was convicted of two counts of money laundering and conspiracy in 2010. His conviction was overturned on appeal. Michael Scanlon R. Communications Director to Tom DeLay, worked for Abramoff and pled guilty to bribery. Tony Rudy R. Deputy Cuz to Tom DeLay, pleaded guilty to conspiracy. Jim Ellis R. Executive Director of Tom DeLay's Political Action Committee Americans for a Republican Majority ARMPAC, was found guilty of money laundering. John Coliandro R. Executive Director of Tom DeLay's Political Action Committee, Texans for a Republican Majority TRMPAC, was indicted by Texas for money laundering. Bob Ney RO, U.S. Representative pleaded guilty to conspiracy and making false statements as a result of his receiving trips from Abramoff in exchange for legislative favors. Ney received 30 months in prison. 
William Heaton R. Cuz to Bob Ney, pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit fraud admitting to conspiring with Ney, Jack Abramoff and others to accept vacations, meals, tickets, and contributions to Ney's campaign in exchange for Ney benefiting Abramoff's clients. 2006 Neil Voles R. former cuz to Bob Ney, pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy in 2006 charges stemming from his work for Bob Ney. In 2007 he was sentenced to two years probation, 100 hours community service, and a fine of $2,000. John Alba R. former cuz to Ernest Istook R. Okay, pled guilty to accepting bribes connected to the federal highway bill. Istook was not charged. 2008. James Herney R. former staff to Tim Hutchinson R. R. was charged with wire fraud for giving a staffer for Don Young R. of Alaska a bribe in exchange for amendments to the Federal Highway Bill, 2008. Kevin A. Ring R. former staff to John Doolittle R. C. A. was convicted of five charges of corruption and Honset services fraud, sentenced to 20 months, Cunningham scandal named after Randy Duke. Cunningham RCA US representative pleaded guilty on November 28, 2005 to charges of conspiracy to commit bribery, mail fraud, wire fraud and tax evasion. Sentenced to over 8 years, Mitchell Wade private contractor and co-conspirator with Cunningham Kyle Fogo director of the CIA and friend to Wilkes convicted of fraud. Brent R. Wilkes private contractor Nguyen RCA U.S. representative candidate for the 47th district, was convicted of voter intimidation. He lost the election and was sentenced to one year in prison and six months in a halfway house. 2006 Cynthia McKinney D. Gaw, U.S. representative, struck a U.S. Capitol Police officer in the chest after he attempted to stop her from going around a security checkpoint. McKinney apologized on the floor of the House and no charges were filed March 29, 2006. William J. Jefferson DLA, U.S. Representative had $90,000 in cash in his home freezer seized by the FBI in August 2005. He was re-elected anyway, but lost in 2008. Jefferson was convicted of 11 counts of bribery and sentenced to 13 years on November 13, 2009, and his chief of staff Brett Pfeffer was sentenced to 84 months in a related case. Bill Janklow RSD, was convicted of second-degree manslaughter for running a stop sign and killing a motorcyclist. He resigned from the House and was given 100 days in the county jail and three years probation 2003. Robert Torricelli DNJ, Senator spent 14 years in the House and one term in the Senate. Torricelli declined to run again when accused of taking illegal contributions from Korean businessman David Chang. 2002. Jim Trafficant DO, was found guilty on 10 felony counts of financial corruption and was sentenced to eight years in prison and expelled from the House. 2002. John E. Sweeney RNY, U.S. Rep. from 20th U.S. District, was arrested in 2007 and again in 2009 for DWI. He was sentenced to 23 days in jail with three years probation. 2009 <laughs> Bill Clinton administration 1993 Topic. Executive branch President Bill Clinton D. was impeached by the House of Representatives for perjury and obstruction of justice for lying under oath about consensual sexual relations with a member of his staff Monica Lewinsky. Clinton was acquitted by the Senate and remained in office for the rest of his term. Clinton subsequently was cited for contempt of court and agreed to a five-year suspension of his Arkansas law license 1998. On October 1, 2001, Clinton was barred from practicing law before the Supreme Court of the United States 2001. Ronald Blackley D. Chief of Staff to the Secretary of Agriculture Mike Espy, was sentenced to 27 months for perjury. Secretary Espy was found innocent on all counts. David Watkins D. Director of the Office of Administration used the White House helicopter, Marine One, to fly to a nearby golf course for an afternoon game. Ostensibly to check out security issues, Watkins later admitted it was just to play golf and resigned. 1994. Darlene A. Druyan, D., Principal Deputy United States Under Secretary of the Air Force. She pleaded guilty to inflating the price of contracts to favor her future employer, Boeing. 
In October 2004, she was sentenced to nine months in jail for corruption, fined $5,000, given three years of supervised release and 150 hours of community service. 2005. CBS News called it the biggest Pentagon scandal in 20 years and said that she pleaded guilty to a felony. Catalina Vazquez Villalpando, R. U.S. Treasurer, convicted of obstruction and tax evasion. She was four sentenced to four months and fined. 1994 Topic: Legislative Branch Newt Gingrich R. Gaw, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, was charged $300,000 in sanctions by the majority Republican House Ethics Committee for an unethical book deal leading to his eventual resignation from office. 1997. Barbara Rose Collins D. Me, was found to have committed 11 violations of law and House rules stemming from use of campaign funds for personal use. Wes Cooley ROR, was convicted of having lied on the 1994 voter information pamphlet about his service in the Army. He was fined and sentenced to two years probation. 1997 U.S. Representative Dan Burton R. In, and a combative critic of the Clinton-Lewinsky affair, admitted that he had fathered a child out of wedlock. 1998 Austin Murphy DPA, was convicted of engaging in voter fraud for filling out absentee ballots for members of a nursing home. Nicholas Mavrules DMA, pleaded guilty to bribery charges. Bob Packwood ROR, was accused of sexual misconduct by 19 women. He fought the allegations, but eventually, the U.S. Senate Ethics Committee found him guilty of a pattern of abuse of his position of power and authority, and recommended that he be expelled from the Senate. He resigned on September 7, 1995. Lawrence J. Smith DFL pleaded guilty to one count of tax evasion and one count of filing false campaign reports on August 3, 1993. He was sentenced to three months in prison. House banking scandal, the House of Representatives Bank found that 450 members had overdrawn their checking accounts, but had not been penalized. Six were convicted of charges, most only tangentially related to the House bank itself. Twenty-two more of the most prolific overdrafters were singled out by the House Ethics Committee. 1992 Buzz Lukens RO, was convicted of bribery and conspiracy. Carl C. Perkins DKY, pleaded guilty to a check-kiting scheme involving several financial institutions including the House Bank. Carol Hubbard DKY, was convicted of illegally funneling money to his wife's 1992 campaign to succeed him in Congress. Mary Rose Oker DO, was charged with seven felonies, but pleaded guilty only to a misdemeanor campaign finance charge not related to the House Bank. Walter Fontroy DDC was convicted of filing false disclosure forms in order to hide unauthorized income. Jack Russ, House Sergeant at Arms, was convicted of three counts. The Congressional Post Office scandal, 1991 to 1995, was a conspiracy to embezzle House Post Office money through stamps and postal vouchers to congressmen. Dan Rostenkowski DIL was convicted and sentenced to 18 months in prison in 1995. Joe Coulter DPA, was convicted of one count of conspiracy and sentenced to six months in prison. Postmaster Robert V. Rota was convicted of one count of conspiracy and two counts of embezzlement. J.C. Kim RCA, plea guilty in 1997 to accepting $230,000 in illegal foreign and corporate campaign donations, including one-third of all donations to his initial 1992 campaign for Congress after a long-term running FBI investigation in Los Angeles, California. At the time, it was a record for campaign violations. Kim was sentenced to house arrest and fined $20,000, and subsequently lost re-election in the 1998 Republican primary election for the 41st Congressional District in California, 1997. U.S. Representative Dana Rohrbacher RCA, was found guilty of failure to properly report campaign contributions and fined. 1996, Rhonda Carmoni R, campaign manager and wife of State Representative Dana Rohrbacher R, was the key instigator of a Republican effort to manipulate the 67th district election by fostering the candidacy of decoy candidate Lori Campbell D, to undermine the candidacy of popular Democrat Linda Moulton Patterson. Carmoni pled guilty and was sentenced to three years of probation and 300 hours of community service and was fined. 1996. 
Enid Green Mickelson Waldholtz R. U.S. Representative, was found guilty on four counts of violating FEC rules and paid $100,000 in fines for campaign violations. 1994 Jack Wenpo Wu R. Campaign Treasurer for Dana Rohrbacher RCA U.S. Representative, embezzled over $300,000. He was repaying the money when he was found guilty and sentenced to one year and five years probation 2015. Joe Waldholtz R. Campaign manager and husband of Enid Green Waldholtz R. pled guilty to federal charges of tax, bank, and campaign fraud, embezzling and forgery 1995, and then, while out on parole, was subsequently convicted of forging insurance and veterans affairs checks from his stepmother and his late father. <laughs> George H. W. Bush administration 1989 to 1993 equals 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 topic executive branch President George H W Bush R denied any knowledge of the Iran Contra affair during his election campaign by saying he was out of the loop His own diaries of that time though stated I'm one of the few people that know fully the details he repeatedly refused to disclose this to investigators during the investigation and thus won the election, 1988. Catalina Vazquez Villalpando, R., Treasurer of the United States, pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice and tax evasion, making her the only U.S. Treasurer ever sent to prison, 1992. Iran-Contra affair pardons. On December 24, 1992, George H. W. Bush R. granted clemency to four convicted government officials as well as Caspar Weinberger and Duane Claridge, whose trials had not yet begun. This action prevented any further investigation into the matter. Caspar Weinberger, Secretary of Defense under Ronald Reagan, pardoned before trial. Robert C. McFarlane, National Security Advisor to Ronald Reagan, guilty of withholding information. Elliot Abrams, Assistant Secretary of State to Ronald Reagan, guilty of withholding information. Claire George, CIA Chief of Covert Ops, guilty of perjury. Alan D. Fires, Chief of the CIA's Central American Task Force, guilty of withholding information. Dwayne Claridge, CIA Operations Officer, pardoned before trial. Topic: <laughs> Legislative Branch. Albert Bustamante DTX was convicted of accepting bribes. Lawrence J. Smith DFL pleaded guilty to tax fraud and lying to federal election officials and served three months in jail, fined $5,000, two years probation and back taxes of $40,000. Senator David Durenberger RMN was denounced by the Senate for unethical financial transactions and then disbarred in 1990. He pleaded guilty to misuse of public funds and was given one year's probation. 1995. Donald E. Buzz Lukens R.O. was convicted of contributing to the delinquency of a minor for having sex with a 16-year-old girl. He was sentenced to 30 days in jail and fined $500. 1989. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Judicial Branch. Clarence Thomas R., Supreme Court nominee, was accused of sexual harassment by eight former employees including Anita Hill, but was approved anyway. Walter Nixon, U.S. judge, was impeached by the House and convicted by the Senate for perjury on November 3, 1989. <laughs> Ronald Reagan administration 1981 Executive branch Operation Ill Wind was a three-year investigation launched in 1986 by the FBI into corruption by U.S. government and military officials, as well as private defense contractors. Melvin Paisley, appointed Assistant Secretary of the Navy in 1981 by Republican President Ronald Reagan, was found to have accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes. He pleaded guilty to bribery, resigned his office and served four years in prison. James E. Gaines Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy, took over when Paisley resigned his office. He was convicted of accepting an illegal gratuity, and theft and conversion of government property. He was sentenced to six months in prison. 
Victor D. Cohen, Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Air Force, was the 50th conviction obtained under the Ill Wind probe when he pleaded guilty to accepting bribes and conspiring to defraud the government. The housing and urban development scandal concerned bribery by selected contractors for low income housing projects. Samuel Pierce, Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, was not charged because he made full and public written acceptance of responsibility. James G. Watt, the Secretary of Interior from 1981 to 1983, was charged with 25 counts of perjury and obstruction of justice, sentenced to five years probation, fined $5,000 and 500 hours of community service. Deborah Gordine, R, Executive Assistant to Samuel Pierce, Secretary of HUD from 1981 to 1987, and not charged, was convicted of 12 counts of perjury, conspiracy, bribery. Sentenced to 21 months in prison, 1987 Philip D. Wynn, Assistant Secretary of HUD from 1981–1982, pleaded guilty to bribery in 1994. Thomas DeMurray, Assistant Secretary of HUD, pleaded guilty to bribery and obstruction. Joseph A. Strauss, Special Assistant to the Secretary of HUD, was convicted of accepting payments to favor Puerto Rican land developers in receiving HUD funding. Silvio D. De Bartolomés was convicted of perjury and bribery. Wedtech scandal. Wedtech Corporation was convicted of bribery for Defense Department contracts. Edwin Meese, R, Attorney General, resigned, but was never convicted. Lynn Nofziger, R, White House Press Secretary, had a conviction of lobbying that was overturned. Mario Biaggi DNY was sentenced to two and a half years in prison. Savings and loan scandal 747 institutions failed and had to be rescued with $160 billion of taxpayer monies in connection with the Keating Five. See legislative scandals. John M. Fetters R. SEC DIR of Enforcement. In divorce testimony, he admitted beating his wife and then resigned. 1985. Emmanuel S. Savas, appointed by Ronald Reagan to be Assistant Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, resigned on July 8, 1983, after an internal Justice Department investigation found he had abused his office by having his government staff work on his private book on government time. Iran-Contra Affair in violation of an arms embargo, administration officials arranged to sell armaments to Iran in an attempt to improve relations with Iran and obtain their influence in the release of hostages held in Lebanon. Oliver North of the National Security Council then diverted proceeds from the arms sale to fund Contra rebels attempting to overthrow the left-wing government of Nicaragua, which was in direct violation of Congress's Boland Amendment. Ronald Reagan appeared on TV stating there was no arms for hostages deal, but was later forced to admit, also on TV, that yes, there indeed had been. Caspar Weinberger, R. Secretary of Defense, was indicted on two counts of perjury and one count of obstruction of justice on June 16, 1992. Weinberger received a pardon from George H. W. Bush on December 24, 1992, before he was tried. William Casey R, director of the CIA is thought to have conceived the plan, but was stricken ill hours before he would testify. Reporter Bob Woodward records that Casey knew of and approved the plan. Robert C. McFarlane National Security Advisor was convicted of withholding evidence, but after a plea bargain was given only two years probation. Later pardoned by President George H. W. Bush, Elliot Abrams R, Assistant Secretary of State, was convicted of withholding evidence, but after a plea bargain was given only two years probation. He was later pardoned by President George H. W. Bush. Alan D. Fires Chief of the CIA's Central American Task Force, was convicted of withholding evidence and sentenced to one year's probation. Later pardoned by President George H. W. Bush. Claire George Chief of Covert Op CIA was convicted on two charges of perjury, but was pardoned by President George H. W. Bush before sentencing. Oliver North R, Deputy Director of the National Security Council, was convicted of accepting an illegal gratuity, obstruction of a congressional inquiry, and destruction of documents, but the convictions were vacated, after the appeals court found that witnesses in his trial might have been impermissibly affected by his immunized congressional testimony. Fawn Hall, Oliver North's secretary, was given immunity from prosecution on charges of conspiracy and destroying documents in exchange for her testimony. 
John Poindexter R. National Security Advisor, was convicted of five counts of conspiracy, obstruction of justice, perjury, defrauding the government, and the alteration and destruction of evidence. The Supreme Court overturned this ruling. Dwayne Claridge ex-CIA senior official, was indicted in November 1991 on seven counts of perjury and false statements relating to a November 1985 shipment to Iran. He was pardoned before trial by President George H. W. Bush. Richard V. Secord an ex-major general in the Air Force, who organized the Iran arms sales and Contra aid, pleaded guilty in November 1989 to making false statements to Congress. He was sentenced to two years of probation. Albert Hakim businessman, pleaded guilty in November 1989 to supplementing the salary of Oliver North by buying him a $13,800 fence. Hakim was given two years of probation and a $5,000 fine, while his company, Lake Resources Inc. was ordered to dissolve. Thomas G. Kleins a former intelligence official, who became an arms dealer, was convicted in September 1990 on four income tax counts, including under-reporting of income to the IRS and lying about not having foreign accounts. He was sentenced to 16 months of prison and fined $40,000. Carl R. Channel R. a fund raiser for conservative causes, pleaded guilty in April 1987 to defrauding the IRS via a tax-exempt organization to fund the Contras. He was sentenced to two years probation. Richard R. Miller associate to Carl R. Channel, pleaded guilty in May 1987 to defrauding the IRS via a tax-exempt organization led by Channel. More precisely, he pleaded guilty to lying to the IRS about the deductibility of donations to the organization. Some of the donations were used to fund the Contras. Sentenced to two years of probation and 120 hours of community service. Joseph F. Fernandez CIA Station Chief of Costa Rica, was indicted on five counts in 1988. The case was dismissed when Attorney General Dick Thornburg refused to declassify information needed for his defense in 1990. Michael Deaver, R. Deputy Chief of Staff to Ronald Reagan from 1981 to 1985, pleaded guilty to perjury related to lobbying activities and was sentenced to three years probation and fined $100,000. Sewer Gate was a scandal in which funds from the EPA were selectively used for projects which would aid politicians friendly to the Reagan administration. Ann Gorsuch, the Burford head of the EPA, cut the EPA staff by 22% and refused to turn over documents to Congress citing executive privilege, whereupon she was found in contempt and resigned with 20 of her top employees. 1980 Rita Lavelle, a U.S. Environmental Protection Agency administrator, misused Superfund monies and was convicted of perjury. She served six months in prison, was fined $10,000 and given five years probation. Louis O. Jufrida, R., director of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, was appointed in April 1981 by Ronald Reagan and resigned his position on September 1, 1985. His announcement came a day before a congressional subcommittee was to approve a report detailing waste, fraud, and abuse at his agency. Fred J. Vilela, Deputy Director at Federal Emergency Management Agency, had more than $70,000 in renovations made to part of a dormitory at an agency training center in Maryland for use as a residence, including an $11,000 stove, wet bar, microwave oven, fireplace and cherrywood cabinets. Vilela accepted free tickets to the same Republican fundraisers as Jufrida and also was accused of sexually harassing a FEMA security guard he also used for private errands. He resigned in 1984. 1984. J. Lynn Helms was appointed head of the Federal Aviation Administration by Ronald Reagan in April 1981. He was charged by the Securities and Exchange Commission with diverting $1.2 million from an issue of tax-exempt municipal bonds to his own personal use. Mr. Helms signed an order that settled the case before trial, though he resigned his FAA post. Veterans Administration Chief Bob Nimmo was appointed by President Ronald Reagan in 1981. He resigned one year later just before a General Accounting Office report criticized him for improper such use of government funds. 1982 John Fetters was appointed Chief of Enforcement for the Securities and Exchange Commission by President Ronald Reagan. He was asked to resign his position after divorce proceedings, during which he admitted beating his wife. Peter Voss R. was appointed to the U.S. Postal Service Board of Governors in 1982 by President Ronald Reagan. 
He was sentenced to four years in federal prison and fined $11,000 for theft and accepting payoffs. He resigned his office in 1986, when he pleaded guilty. Carlos Campbell R. ASST Sec of Commerce to the EDA, he was accused of favoritism in awarding grants and being overzealous. Before an investigation could start he resigned, 1983. Jim Petro R. U.S. Attorney appointed by President Ronald Reagan, was dismissed and fined for tipping off an acquaintance about an ongoing Secret Service investigation, 1984. William H. Kennedy, United States Attorney in San Diego, was dismissed by President Reagan after he mentioned that the CIA was involved in a smuggling case, 1982. Marjorie Mecklenburg R. Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Resources used travel funds to see her son's Denver Bronco games. She resigned, 1985. Guy W. Fisk R. Deputy Secretary of Commerce, after allegations of a conflict of interest in contract negotiations with satellite communications company Comsat, resigned. 1983 <laughs> <laughs> Legislative branch U.S. Senator and U.S. Appropriations Chairman Mark Hatfield ROR revealed that his wife had been paid $55,000 by Greek arms dealer Basil Zakos, who had been lobbying for a trans-African pipeline, 1984. Senator David Durenberger RMN was denounced by the Senate for unethical financial transactions 1990 and then disbarred as an attorney. In 1995, he pled guilty to five misdemeanor counts of misuse of public funds and was given one year's probation. Senator Jesse Helms RNC and his campaign was found guilty of voter caging when 125,000 postcards were sent to mainly black neighborhoods and the results used to challenge their residency and therefore their right to vote, 1990. Congressman Barney Frank DMA lived with convicted felon Steve Gobi, who ran a gay prostitution operation from Frank's apartment without his knowledge. Frank was admonished by Congress for using his congressional privilege to eliminate 33 parking tickets attributed to Gobi. 1987 Donald E. Buzz Lukens RO was convicted of two counts of bribery and conspiracy. 1996 See also sex scandal. Anthony Lee Coelho DCA resigned rather than face inquiries from both the Justice Department and the House Ethics Committee about an allegedly unethical junk bond deal, which netted him $6,000. He was never charged with any crime. 1989. House Speaker Jim Wright DTX resigned after an ethics investigation led by Newt Gingrich alleged improper receipt of $145,000 in gifts. 1989. Keating 5 the failure of Lincoln Savings and Loan led to Charles Keating donating to the campaigns of five senators for help. Keating served 42 months in prison. The five were investigated by the Senate Ethics Committee which found that, Senator Alan Cranston DCA was reprimanded. Senator Dennis DeConcina Diaz acted improperly. Senator Don Regal D. Me acted improperly. Senator John Glenn DO used poor judgment. Senator John McCain R as used poor judgment. Abscam was an FBI sting involving fake Arabs trying to bribe 31 congressmen. 1980, the following 6 congressmen were convicted. Senator Harrison A Williams DNJ was convicted on 9 counts of bribery and conspiracy and was sentenced to 3 years in prison. Representative John Jenrette DSC was sentenced to two years in prison for bribery and conspiracy. Richard Kelly RFL accepted $25,000 and then claimed he was conducting his own investigation into corruption. Served 13 months. Raymond Letterer DPA said that, I can give you me, after accepting $50,000. He was sentenced to three years in prison. Michael Myers, DPA, accepted $50,000, saying, Money talks and bullshit walks. He was sentenced to three years in prison and was expelled from the House. Frank Thompson, DNJ, was sentenced to three years in prison. John M. Murphy, DNY, served 20 months of a three-year sentence. 
Also arrested were NJ State Senator Angelo Arichetti D and members of the Philadelphia City Council. Mario Biaggi DNY was convicted of obstruction of justice and accepting illegal gratuities. He was sentenced to two and a half years in prison and fined $500,000 for his role in the Wedtech scandal. Just before expulsion from the House, he resigned. The next year, he was convicted of another 15 counts of obstruction and bribery. 1988. Pat Swindle R. Gaw was convicted of six counts of perjury. 1989. George V. Hansen R. was censured for failing to file out disclosure forms. He spent 15 months in prison. Frederick W. Richmond DNY was convicted of tax evasion and possession of marijuana. He served nine months in prison. 1982. Joshua Eilberg DPA pleaded guilty to conflict of interest charges. In addition, he convinced President Jimmy Carter D to fire the U.S. attorney investigating his case. Robert E. Bauman RMD was charged with soliciting sex from a teenage boy. Counseling was ordered, but he lost his next two elections. 1980 Judicial <inaudible> <inaudible> branch <inaudible> 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 Federal District Court Judge Alcee Hastings DFL was impeached by the House and convicted by the Senate of soliciting a bribe, 1989. Federal District Court Judge Harry Claiborne DNV was impeached by the House and convicted by the Senate on two counts of tax evasion. He served over one year in prison. <laughs> <laughs> James E. Carter Administration 1977 <laughs> Topic. Executive branch Debategate, an election briefing book for President Jimmy Carter was stolen and given to opponent Ronald Reagan before the presidential election of 1980. Topic. Legislative branch Daniel J. Flood DPA was censured for bribery during the 96th United States Congress. The allegations led to his resignation on January 31, 1980. U.S. Representative J. Herbert Burke RFL, pleaded guilty to disorderly intoxication and resisting arrest, and nolo contendere to an additional charge of witness tampering. He was sentenced to three months plus fines, 1978. U.S. Representative Robert E. Bauman RMD, was charged with soliciting sex from a teenage boy in gay bar. After counseling, the charges were dropped, but he lost his next two elections, 1980. Fred Richmond DNY received charges of soliciting sex from a 16-year-old boy were dropped after he submitted to counseling, 1978. Charles Diggs D. Me was convicted on 29 charges of mail fraud and filing false payroll forms which formed a kickback scheme with his staff. Sentenced to three years, 1978. Senator Herman Talmadge D. Gaw was denounced by the Senate for improper financial conduct on October 11, 1979. He failed to be re-elected. Michael Myers DPA received suspended six-month jail term after pleading no contest to disorderly conduct charged stemming from an incident at a Virginia bar in which he allegedly attacked a hotel security guard and a cashier. Charles H. Wilson DCA was censured after he converted $25,000 in campaign funds to his own use and accepted $10,500 from a man with a direct interest in legislation before Congress. This was a later non-park incident. John Connolly RTX was accused of accepting a $10,000 bribe milk money scandal. He was acquitted, 1975. Richard Tonery DLA, pleaded guilty to receiving illegal campaign contributions. Koreagate scandal involving alleged bribery of more than 30 members of Congress by the South Korean government represented by Tongsun Park. Several other Koreans and congressmen were allegedly involved, but not charged or reprimanded. The most notable are, Richard T. Hanna DCA, pleaded guilty and sentenced to 6 to 30 months in federal prison. Wound up serving a year in prison. John J. McFall, Edward Royball, and Charles H. Wilson, all DCA, were involved. Royball was censured and Wilson was reprimanded, while McFall was reprimanded. Judicial 
Herbert Allen Fogel, R, Federal Judge of the Eastern Federal District of Pennsylvania, 1973 to 1978, and nominated by Richard M. Nixon, resigned after investigation of a government contract in which he was forced to invoke the Fifth Amendment, 1978. Jack T. Camp R. Federal Judge, Northern District of Ga, appointed by Ronald Reagan, guilty of trying to purchase cocaine, firearms violations, aiding a felon. Resigned. Sentenced to 30 days. 2010. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald Ford Administration 1974 <laughs> Topic: Executive Branch. Secretary of Agriculture Earl Butts R was asked privately why the party of Lincoln was not able to attract more blacks. Butts replied, "I'll tell you what the Collarids want. It's three things: first, a tight pussy; second, loose shoes; and third, a warm place to shit." Butts resigned soon afterwards on October 4, 1976. Topic. Legislative branch Congressman Andrew J. Hinshaw RCA was convicted of accepting bribes while assessor of Orange County. He served one year in prison, 1977. Wayne L. Hayes DO resigned from Congress after hiring and promoting his mistress, Elizabeth Ray, 1976. Frank Horton RNY pleaded guilty to a DWI arrested at 105 miles per hour with two women neither were his wife and pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 11 days in jail 1976 James F Hastings RNY was convicted of kickbacks and mail fraud took money from his employees for personal use served 14 months at Allenwood Penitentiary 1976 James R. Jones DOK, U.S. Rep. plead guilty to a federal misdemeanor charge that he had failed to report a 1972 campaign contribution from Gulf Oil. 1976 Bob Sykes DFL was reprimanded for conflict of interest in failing to disclose stock holdings. John V. Doughty DTX served six months in prison for perjury. 1973 Bertram Podale DNY pleaded guilty to conspiracy and conflict of interest. He was fined $5,000 and served four months in prison, 1974. Frank Brasco DNY was sentenced to three months in jail and fined $10,000 for conspiracy to accept bribes from a reputed mafia figure who sought truck leasing contracts from the post office and loans to buy trucks. Frank Clark DPA paid congressional salaries to 13 Pennsylvania residents who performed no official duties. Wilbur Mills DR stepped down as chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee after his affair with Argentinian stripper Fan Fox was made public in 1974. <laughs> <laughs> Richard M. Nixon administration 1969 <laughs> 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 Executive branch Vice President Spiro Agnew RMD was convicted of tax fraud stemming from bribery charges in Maryland and forced to resign. Gerald R. Ford RME was nominated by Nixon to replace Agnew as vice president the first person appointed to the vice presidency under the terms of the 25th Amendment. B.B. Rebozo R. was investigated for accepting large contribution to Nixon's campaign. No charges were filed. 1973. Watergate 1972 to 1974 President Richard Nixon R ordered the cover up of the burglary and bugging of the Democratic Party national headquarters at the Watergate Hotel The cover up by Nixon and his staff resulted in 69 government officials being charged and 48 convicted or pleading guilty Eventually Nixon resigned his office rather than face impeachment those involved include, John N. Mitchell R. Attorney General of the United States, was convicted of perjury and served 19 months of a one to four year sentence. Richard Kleindienst R. Attorney General that replaced Mitchell, was convicted of refusing to answer questions, given one month in jail. Jeb Stuart Magruder R. Head of Committee to re-elect the President, pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy, August 1973. Frederick C. LaRue, R, advisor to John Mitchell, was convicted of obstruction of justice. 
H. R. Haldeman R. Cuz for Nixon, was convicted of conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and perjury. John Ehrlichman R. Counsel to Nixon, was convicted of conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and perjury. Eagle Krogh R. Aide to John Ehrlichman, was sentenced to six years. John W. Dean III R. Counsel to Nixon, was convicted for obstruction of justice. Dwight L. Chapin R. Deputy Assistant to Nixon, was convicted of perjury. Herbert W. Kalmbach R. Personal Attorney to Nixon, was convicted of illegal campaigning. Charles W. Colson R. Special Counsel to Nixon, was convicted for obstruction of justice. Herbert L. Porter R. Aide to the Committee to Re-Elect the President, was convicted of perjury. G. Gordon Liddy R. Special Investigations Group, was convicted of burglary. Maurice Stans R. Secretary of Commerce, pleaded guilty to three counts of violating the reporting sections of the Federal Election Campaign Act and two counts of accepting illegal campaign contributions and was fined $5,000, 1975. G. Bradford Cook R. was appointed by President Nixon to be chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. He resigned his position during the investigation into the Robert Vesco – Watergate affair during which he allegedly lied to a grand jury and was disbarred by the U.S. Supreme Court for three years. He had served as chairman for just 74 days. 1973 The Washington Star reported that Cook believed he was going to be impeached, and offered to resign. The White House allowed him to do so. Operation Townhouse was established by H. R. Haldeman R. Nixon's chief of staff, to set up a secret fundraising enterprise, the Townhouse Operation, designed to bypass the Republican National Committee. 1970 Harry Schuler Dent R. Presidential counsel and strategist, pleaded guilty to violations of federal election law for his part in the illegal fundraising operation. Herbert W. Kalmbach R. Nixon's personal attorney, raised $3.9 million for a secret Republican slush fund. He also promised an ambassador a better post in exchange for $100,000, which led to conviction and imprisonment. Kalmbach pleaded guilty to violation of the Federal Corrupt Practices Act and one count of promising federal employment. White House aide Jack A. Gleason R. pleaded guilty to violations of federal election law concerning an illegal fund-raising operation run by the White House. Richard Helms, director of the Central Intelligence Agency 1966 was convicted of misleading Congress concerning assassination attempts in Cuba, anti-government activities in Chile and the illegal surveillance of journalists in the U.S. Mr. Helms pleaded no contest. Donald Segretti R. ran a campaign of dirty tricks for Nixon which he dubbed ratfucking, which meant forging and distributing documents to embarrass Democrats. Segretti pled guilty to three counts of distributing illegal forged campaign literature and was sentenced to six months in prison. 1974 <laughs> <laughs> Legislative branch Senator Ted Kennedy DMA drove his car into a tidal channel on Chappaquiddick Island, a small island off of Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Passenger Mary Jo Kopechny drowned. Kennedy pleaded guilty to leaving the scene of an accident and received a suspended sentence of two months. 1969 Cornelius Gallagher DNJ pleaded guilty to tax evasion, and served two years in prison. J. Irving Wally RPA received suspended three-year sentence and fined $11,000 in 1973 for using mails to deposit staff salary kickbacks and threatening an employee to prevent her from giving information to the FBI. Martin B. McNally RNY was placed on one year's probation and fined $5,000 in 1971 for failing to file income tax return. He had not paid taxes for many years prior. Richard T. Hanna DCA was convicted in an influence buying scandal, 1974. Edwin Reinick RCA was convicted of perjury and sentenced to 18 months in prison as part of the Watergate investigation. He resigned one day before his sentencing, which was overturned on appeal because the Senate Judiciary Committee before which he was accused of perjuring himself had failed to publish its rule permitting a one-man quorum. U.S. Representative William Oswald Mills RMD had received an undisclosed $25,000 gift from the Finance Committee of President Richard Nixon's re-election campaign, CREEP, which was part of $900,000 in unaccounted donations made by that committee in May 1973. 
Five days later, he committed suicide, 1973. U.S. Representative George V. Hansen was the first member of Congress to be convicted of violating a new 1971 campaign law requiring disclosure of financial contributions, 1974. James R. Jones U.S. Representative, plead guilty to a federal misdemeanor charge that he had failed to report a 1972 campaign contribution from Gulf Oil. 1972 Judicial branch Judge Harold Carswell was nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court in 1970 by Richard Nixon, but was not confirmed. Civil rights advocates questioned his civil rights record, citing his voiced support for racial segregation during his unsuccessful election bid in 1948. Various feminists, including Betty Friedan, testified before the Senate and opposed his nomination and contributed to his defeat. Roman Harushka Republican, Nebraska, stated, even if he were mediocre, there are a lot of mediocre judges and people and lawyers. They are entitled to a little representation, aren't they, and a little chance. We can't have all Brandeises, Frankfurters and Cardozos. Herbert Allen Fogel R. U.S. Judge of Eastern District of PA 1973-1978 resigned after investigations of a government contract started, during which he was forced to invoke the Fifth Amendment multiple times. 1978 <laughs> Lyndon B. Johnson Administration 1963-1969 Topic. Executive branch Bobby Baker, D. Secretary to the Majority Leader of the Senate the Vice President then serving and advisor to President Lyndon B. Johnson, resigned after charges of favoritism. 1963 Topic. Legislative branch Senator Daniel Brewster DMD pleaded no contest to accepting an illegal gratuity in 1975 and fined $10,000. Brewster was convicted in 1972 of accepting $14,500 from a lobbyist, and was handed a six-year prison term in 1973 over the conviction, but the conviction was overturned on grounds of unclear jury instructions. Congressman Lawrence J. Smith DFL, pleaded guilty to one count of tax evasion and one count of filing false campaign reports on August 3, 1993. He was sentenced to three months in prison. James Fred Hastings RNY, was a delegate to the 1968 Republican National Convention and the 1972 Republican National Convention. He was elected to Congress in 1968 and served from January 3, 1969, until he resigned on January 20, 1976, after being convicted of kickbacks and mail fraud. He served 14 months at Allenwood Penitentiary 1976. <inaudible> <inaudible> Judicial branch U.S. Supreme Court Justice Abe Fortas D. resigned when he was discovered to be a paid consultant to a convicted criminal. No charges were ever filed. 1969. <laughs> John F. Kennedy Administration 1961 <laughs> Topic legislative branch Thomas F. Johnson DMD was indicted on charges of members of Maryland's S&L industry bribing him and lost his seat in 1962. Later was convicted of conspiracy and conflict of interest in 1968, served three and a half months of a six-month sentence and was fined $5,000. Frank W. Boykin DL was placed on six months probation in 1963 following conviction in a case involving a conflict of interest and conspiracy to defraud the government. His prison sentence was suspended on age and health grounds and was fined $40,000 total. He was pardoned by President Lyndon Johnson in 1965. <laughs> Dwight D. Eisenhower Administration 1953 <laughs> 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 Executive branch Vice presidential candidate Richard Nixon R. delivered the checkers speech 
to deflect scandal about $18,000 in gifts, maintaining the only personal gift he had received was a dog. 1952. Chief of Staff Llewellyn Sherman A. Adams R. was cited for contempt of Congress and forced to resign because he refused to answer questions about an Oriental rug and Vicuña coat given to his wife. 1958. John C. Dorfer R., the appointed chairman of the Federal Communications Commission by President Eisenhower, spent a week-long Florida vacation in 1960 on the yacht owned by his friend George B. Storer, president of Storer Broadcasting. As a result, he was accused of conflict of interest and forced to resign. <laughs> <laughs> Legislative branch McCarthyism, a broad political and cultural purge was started against people suspected of sympathy with communism, starting near the end of World War II and reaching its climax in the investigations of Republican Senator Joseph McCarthy. The Senate passed a resolution of condemnation against McCarthy in 1954 after an embarrassing investigation of the United States Army, ending his career, but anti-communist purges continued for several years. He died in 1957 before his Senate seat could come up for election. Thomas J. Lane DMA was convicted for evading taxes on his congressional income. He served four months in prison, but was re-elected three more times before his 1962 defeat due to redistricting. 1956. Ernest K. Bramblett RCA received a suspended sentence and a $5,000 fine in 1955 for making false statements in connection with payroll padding and kickbacks from congressional employees. Douglas R. Stringfellow RUT abandoned his 1954 re-election bid after admitting to embellishing his war record. Stringfellow falsely claimed to have been awarded a silver star and feigned paraplegia. Equals 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 Harry S. Truman administration, 1945 to 1953. Equals equals equals. Topic: Executive Branch. A Justice Department investigation of the Internal Revenue Service led to the firing or resignation of 166 lower-level employees, causing President Harry Truman D. to be stained with charges of corruption. 1950. William M. Boyle D., chairman of the Democratic National Committee, accused of getting special loan rates. Resigned for poor health. 1951. Topic: <laughs> Legislative Branch. Walter E. Brem RO was convicted of accepting contributions illegally from one of his employees. He received a 15-month suspended sentence and a $5,000 fine. J. Parnell Thomas RNJ, a member of the House Committee on Un-American Activities HUAC, was convicted of salary fraud and given an 18-month sentence and a fine, resigning from Congress in 1950. He was imprisoned in Danbury Prison with two of the Hollywood Ten he had helped put there. After serving his 18 months he was pardoned by Truman D. in 1952. Andrew J. May DKY was convicted of accepting bribes in 1947 from a war munitions manufacturer. He was sentenced to nine months in prison, after which he was pardoned by Truman D. in 1952. James Michael Curley DMA was sentenced to 6 to 18 months on mail fraud and spent five months in prison before his sentence was commuted by President Truman. 1947 Franklin Delano Roosevelt administration 1933 to 1945 Topic Executive Branch Michael J Hogan R collector of the Port of New York Convicted of bribery and sentenced to a year and a day in a federal penitentiary. 1935 <inaudible> <inaudible> Legislative branch Francis Henry Shoemaker farmer labor MN was sentenced to a year and a day in the penitentiary for sending scurrilous and defamatory materials through the mail. 1933 John H. Hopel DCA was convicted of trying to sell an appointment to the West Point Military Academy, 1936. Donald F. Snow Army was committed to the Maine State Prison for two to four years for embezzlement. 
1935 Judicial branch Halsted Ritter R. U.S. District Judge in Florida, nominated by Calvin Coolidge, was impeached for secretly taking a $4,500 fee from a former law partner. He was convicted of bringing the judiciary into disrepute accepting free meals and lodging during receivership proceedings and removed from office, 1936. Martin Thomas Manton D. U.S. District Court Judge for the Southern District of New York, was investigated for judicial corruption and bribery which resulted in prosecution and a two-year prison term, 1939. Edwin Stark Thomas D. U.S. District Judge for Connecticut, during a grand jury investigation of official misconduct and his financial affairs, he resigned. 1939 <laughs> Herbert Hoover administration 1929 to 1933 Topic Legislative Branch Senator Hiram Bingham RCT was censured for hiring a lobbyist employed by a manufacturing organization to work on his staff 1929 Harry E. Robottom was convicted in federal court of accepting bribes from persons who sought post office appointments. He was given one year in Leavenworth. George E. Fowlkes U.S. Rep., was found guilty of conspiracy and bribery and sentenced to 18 months in prison and fined $1,000 1934. <laughs> Calvin Coolidge administration 1923 Executive U.S. alien property custodian Thomas B. Miller R. was convicted of conspiring to defraud the U.S. government and served 18 months in prison, 1927. Frederick A. Fenning R., District of Columbia Commissioner appointed by Calvin Coolidge, was investigated and accused of practices illegal and contrary to law. He resigned before trial. 1927. Topic. Legislative John W. Langley RKY resigned from the U.S. Congress in January 1926, after losing an appeal to set aside his conviction of violating the Volstead Act prohibition. He had also been caught trying to bribe a prohibition officer. He was sentenced to two years after which, his wife ran for Congress in his place and won two full terms. Senator William Scott Vare RPA was unseated on December 6, 1929, due to charges of corruption and fraud during his election. Frank L. Smith R, head of the Illinois Commerce Commission, was appointed to be U.S. Senator by ill Governor Len Small R, but was rejected by the U.S. Senate for alleged fraud and corruption. 1927 Topic. Judicial Illinois U.S. District Judge George English D. was impeached for taking an interest-free loan from a bank of which he was director. Resigned before his Senate trial. 1926. <laughs> Warren G. Harding Administration 1921 <laughs> <laughs> Executive branch President Warren G. Harding's RO administration was marred by scandals stemming from men in his administration who followed him from Ohio, who came to be known as the Ohio Gang. They include, Albert Fall, Secretary of the Interior, was bribed by Harry F. Sinclair for control of the Teapot Dome Federal Oil Reserves in Wyoming. He was the first U.S. cabinet member to ever be convicted. He served two years in prison, 1922. Edwin C. Denby, Secretary of the Navy, resigned for his part in the Teapot Dome oil reserve scandal. Attorney General Harry M. Daugherty resigned on March 28, 1924, because of an investigation about a bootlegging kickback scheme by his chief aide Jess Smith. Found not guilty, 1924. Jess Smith, aide to Attorney General Daugherty, destroyed incriminating papers and then committed suicide. Charles R. Forbes was appointed by Harding as the first director of the new Bureau of Veterans Affairs. 
After constructing and modernizing VA hospitals, he was convicted of bribery and corruption and sentenced to two years in jail. Charles Kramer, Forbes's general counsel, committed suicide, 1923. Thomas W. Miller, head of the Office of Alien Property, was convicted of fraud by selling valuable German patents seized after World War I for far below market price as well as bribery. Served 18 months. Topic. Legislative branch Thomas L. Blanton DTX was censured for inserting obscene material into the congressional record. According to Franklin Wheeler Mondell the letter was said to contain language that was "...unspeakable, vile, foul, filthy, profane, blasphemous and obscene." A motion to expel him failed by eight votes, 1921. Senator Truman Handy Newberry was convicted of election irregularities but the case was overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court. However, due to continued opposition and a condemnation vote claiming that $3,750 was too much to spend on an election against automaker Henry Ford, resigned. 1921 <laughs> Woodrow Wilson administration 1913 Executive branch Newport Sex Scandal – Assistant Secretary of the Navy Franklin D. Roosevelt initiated an investigation into allegations of «immoral conduct» homosexuality at the naval base in Newport, Rhode Island. After the report, which revealed nothing, the investigators themselves were also accused of homosexuality. 1919 Topic: William Howard Taft Administration, 1909 to 1913. Topic: Legislative Branch. Senator William Lorimer R. Ill, also known as the Blonde Boss of Chicago, was expelled from the U.S. Senate in 1912 for accepting bribes. Senator Benjamin R. Tillman DSC and John McLaurin, Senator DSC were both censured for fighting in the Senate chamber. Senator Ralph Cameron R. As attempted to control access to the Grand Canyon by buying mining rights to adjacent lands. 1912 <inaudible> <inaudible> Judicial branch Pennsylvania U.S. Commerce Court Judge Robert Archibald R. was involved for corrupt alliances with coal mine workers and railroad officials. He was convicted and removed from office, 1912. Cornelius Hanford R. U.S. District Judge for the Western District of Washington, resigned under threat of impeachment for corruption. 1912 Theodore Roosevelt administration 1901 to 1909 legislative branch Senator John Hippel Mitchell ROR was involved with the Oregon land fraud scandal for which he was indicted and convicted while a sitting US senator He died before sentencing 1905 Senator Joseph R. Burton was convicted of bribery in 1904 on the charge of illegally receiving compensation for services rendered before a federal department and served five months in prison, 1904. Henry B. Castle RPA U.S. Representative, was convicted of fraud related to the construction of the Pennsylvania State Capitol in 1909. <laughs> <laughs> Judicial branch. Oregon District Attorney John Hicklin Hall R., appointed by President McKinley, was convicted of not prosecuting suspects and then blackmailing them during the Oregon land fraud scandal. 1903 <laughs> <laughs> William McKinley Administration 1897-1901 Executive branch 
Oregon U.S. Federal District Attorney John Hicklin Hall R. was appointed by President William McKinley. In 1903, Hall was ordered to investigate land fraud in what became known as the Oregon Land Fraud Scandal and was put on trial for failing to prosecute land companies engaging in fraudulent activities, and for using his knowledge of illegal activities to blackmail his political opponents. On February 8, 1908, a jury found Hall guilty of the charges. 1907, he was later pardoned by President William Howard Taft. Topic: <laughs> Legislative Branch. Charles Henry Dietrich, R.N.A., U.S. Senator. Before he took office, Dietrich was charged with bribery for accepting money to appoint Jacob Fisher to be a U.S. Postmaster. He was charged with conspiracy to receive a bribe, accepting a bribe and profiting by the leaning of a building to the government. Before the trial could begin, the judge held that Dietrich could not be prosecuted because the alleged bribery occurred after he was elected, but before Dietrich was sworn in as a U.S. Senator. All charges were then dropped. 1901 <laughs> Grover Cleveland Administration 1885 Topic. Legislative branch Utah Territorial Delegate George Q. Cannon R. was refused his seat due to a conviction for unlawful cohabitation polygamy, for which he served nearly six months in Utah's federal penitentiary. 1888 <laughs> Chester A. Arthur Administration 1881 <laughs> Topic. Executive branch Governor of Dakota Territory Nehemiah G. Ordway R. was removed by President Chester A. Arthur after he was indicted for corruption, 1884 Levi Jared R. was appointed U.S. Postmaster for New Brunswick, N.J. by President Chester A. Arthur R. in 1881. He was sentenced to ten years in prison for forgery in 1884. Equals 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 James A. Garfield administration 1881 to 1881 equals equals equals. Topic: Legislative branch. Senator Stephen W. Dorsey RR was included in the investigation of corruption of Star Route postal contracts under the administrations of President James A. Garfield R and President Chester A. Arthur R. 1881. Equals 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 Rutherford B. Hayes administration. 1877 to 1881. Equals equals equals. Topic: Executive branch. Ezra Ayres Haight, the Commissioner of Indian Affairs under Rutherford B. Hayes, was forced to resign by Interior Secretary Carl Schurz due to allegations of rampant corruption. 1880 <inaudible> <inaudible> Judicial branch U.S. District Court Northern District of Alabama Judge Richard Busteed was brought impeachment charges for non-residents in Alabama, failure to hold court and improper use of his official position. To avoid being removed from office, he resigned. 1874 U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Louisiana Judge Edward Henry Durrell R. was impeached for alleged drunkenness, corruption, and election rigging. He resigned before trial. 1879 Ulysses S. Grant Administration 1869 Executive branch United States Secretary of War William Belknap R. resigned just before he was impeached by the United States House of Representatives for bribery, 1876 Whiskey Ring, massive corruption of Ulysses S. Grant's R. administration involving whiskey taxes, bribery and kickbacks ending with 110 convictions, 1875 Orville E. Babcock R., a personal secretary to Grant, was indicted in the Whiskey Ring scandal and ten days later in the safe burglary conspiracy. He was acquitted both times. 
John J. MacDonald R., Supervisor of the Internal Revenue Service, was convicted and sentenced to three years. W. O. Avery, Chief Clerk of the Treasury Department, was convicted. Eastern Wisconsin Federal Attorney Levi Hubble R. was suspended from office for his involvement with the Whiskey Ring through contact with Milwaukee Brewers. 1875 William Adams Richardson R., U.S. Secretary of the Treasury, hired John B. Sanborn to collect unpaid taxes, some of which was used in a kickback scheme. Though not illegal, congressional outrage forced Richardson to resign. The actions were made illegal a few months later and is now called the Sanborn Incident. 1874 Black Friday, when financiers Jay Gould and James Fisk tried to corner the gold market by getting Ulysses S. Grant's brother-in-law Abel Corbin to convince Grant to appoint General Daniel Butterfield as assistant to the Secretary of the Treasury, where he could then give them insider information, 1869. George M. Robeson, Grant's Secretary of the Navy, was admonished by the House for gross misconduct and corruption in relation to his dealings with Alexander Cattell, 1876. Salary Grab Act was the act that increased the salaries of the President, Congress and the Supreme Court, 1873. Columbus Delano, the Secretary of the Interior under Grant, resigned after allegedly taking bribes in order to secure fraudulent land grants. Legislative branch Credit Mobilier of America Scandal, Oaks Ames RMA bribed Congress with Union Pacific stock. James Brooks DNY also implicated, both were censured for their involvement, 1872. U.S. Senator James W. Patterson RNH was found to have given false testimony to both the House and Senate committees, both of whom found him guilty of bribery in the Credit Mobilier scandal. He was also recommended for expulsion from the Senate, but Patterson's term expired before such action could be taken. 1873, U.S. Senator Alexander Caldwell RKs was elected to the U.S. Senate. It was discovered that the rival candidate, Thomas Carney, dropped out of the race, admitting that he had accepted a bribe of $15,000 to leave the race allowing Caldwell to win. He was impeached and the U.S. Senate declared that Caldwell had not been duly and legally elected and moved to expel him. Before a vote could be taken, Caldwell resigned 1873. <inaudible> <inaudible> Judicial branch Mark Delachey R. a U.S. District Judge of Kansas and co-founder of the Republican Party, was impeached by the United States House of Representatives on February 28, 1873, for "...intoxication off the bench as well as on the bench." He resigned two months later, 1873. Richard Busteed R., U.S. judge from the Northern District of Alabama, spent much of his time at home in New York though serving in Alabama. Southern sympathizers brought charges against him for non-residence, failure to hold court and improper use of his position. To avoid being removed from office, he resigned before impeachment, 1874. Levi Hubble R., U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Wisconsin, accused of corruption for failing to prosecute whiskey distributors who were bribing U.S. revenue agents. Forced to resign. 1875 <laughs> Andrew Johnson Administration 1865 Executive branch President Andrew Johnson D. Union Party was impeached for violating the Tenure of Office Act. He was acquitted by one vote. 1868 <inaudible> <inaudible> Abraham Lincoln Administration 1861 Topic. Executive branch Simon Cameron R., Lincoln's Secretary of War, resigned in 1862 due to corruption charges. His behavior was so notorious that Congressman Thaddeus Stevens, when discussing Cameron's honesty with Lincoln, told him that, I don't think that he would steal a red-hot stove. When Cameron demanded Stevens retract this statement, Stevens told Lincoln, I believe I told you he would not steal a red-hot stove. I will now take that back. 
Topic: Legislative Branch. Senator James F. Simmons had confirmed corruption charges against him reported by the Senate Judiciary Committee and the charges were referred to the full Senate for action on July 14, 1862. The Senate adjourned three days later without acting. Before it could reconvene, Simmons resigned on September 5, 1862. U.S. Representative Lovell Harrison Rousseau RKY assaulted Iowa Representative Josiah Bushnell Grinnell on June 14, 1866, with his iron-handled cane until it broke. He was reprimanded by the House of Representatives, and resigned, but was elected again to fill his own vacancy. 1866 <laughs> James Buchanan administration 1857 to 1861 Topic Legislative Branch U.S. Representative and fervent advocate of slavery Preston Brooks DSC beat abolitionist Senator Charles Sumner R, leaving him bleeding and unconscious on the floor of the House of Representatives until his cane broke, 1856. Daniel Sickles DNY shot and killed the United States Attorney for the District of Columbia Philip Barton Key II, son of Francis Scott Key, whom the congressman had discovered was having an affair with Sickles's young wife, Teresa. He was tried and acquitted in the first use of the temporary insanity plea. 1859 <inaudible> Zachary Taylor administration 1849 <inaudible> 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 Executive branch George W. Crawford Whig Gaw, Secretary of War in the cabinet of President Zachary Taylor Whig, was the center of the Galfin Affair land scandal with the help of Reverdy Johnson Whig Attorney General and William M. Meredith Whig Secretary of the Treasury, in which Crawford defrauded the federal government of $191,353. 1849 Andrew Jackson administrations 1829–1836 Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Executive branch Samuel Swartwout was appointed by President Andrew Jackson to the New York City Collector's Office. At the end of his term he had embezzled $1.225 million in customs receipts and used the money to purchase land. He fled to Europe to avoid prosecution. Margaret O'Neill Eaton, the wife of Secretary of War John H. Eaton, was a central figure in the Petticoat Affair which involved accusations that she had engaged in an extramarital affair, and her social ostracism by the wives of other cabinet members led by Floride Calhoun, the wife of Vice President John C. Calhoun. Topic. Legislative branch North Carolina Congressman Robert Potter resigned from Congress after castrating two men he believed were having an affair with his wife, 1831 Later, in North Carolina, he was expelled from its legislature for cheating at cards or for pulling a gun and a knife during a card game. 1835 James Monroe administrations 1817–1824 Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Legislative branch Corrupt bargain was a supposed bargain by John Quincy Adams with Henry Clay. 1824 Topic <inaudible> Thomas Jefferson administrations 1801–1808 Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Executive branch General James Wilkinson was appointed to be governor of the Upper Louisiana Purchase. He then conspired with Spain to get Kentucky to secede from the Union in order to allow shipping on the Mississippi to reach New Orleans, 1787–1811 
Aaron Burr and the New Empire Southwest Burr Conspiracy 1804 Burr allegedly tried to seize a large part of the Louisiana Purchase and establish his own country. He was arrested for treason, but was acquitted for lack of evidence. 1807 Aaron Burr dueled with Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton died of wounds received during the duel. 1804 Topic. Judicial branch Samuel Chase, the Supreme Court Justice appointed by George Washington, was impeached for political favoritism and acquitted in 1805. John Pickering, a federal judge appointed by George Washington, was impeached and convicted in absentia by the U.S. Senate for drunkenness and use of profanity on the bench in spite of the fact neither act was a high crime or misdemeanor. 1804 Topic: John Adams administration, 1797 to 1800. Topic: Executive branch. The XYZ affair was the French seizure of over 300 U.S. ships and demands for bribes and apologies, led to a quasi-war, causing the U.S. Congress to issue the famous phrase. Millions for defense, sir, but not one cent for tribute. Real war was averted by treaty. 1798-1800. Legislative branch Matthew Lyon Democratic Republican KY was the first congressman recommended for censure for spitting on Ralph Griswold Federalist CT. The censure failed to pass. Also found guilty of violating John Adams's Alien and Sedition Acts and sentenced to four months in jail, during which he was re-elected <laughs> George Washington administration Legislative <laughs> 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 branch <laughs> 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 Senator William Blunt Democratic Republican TN was expelled from the Senate for trying to aid the British in a takeover of West Florida. 1797 Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government under the Articles of Confederation 1777 to 1788 Topic: Executive Branch Conway Cabal created a movement or conspiracy to remove George Washington as commander of the Continental Army by Thomas Conway and Horatio Gates. 1777–1778 Legislative branch Silas Dean was accused of mismanagement and treason while ambassador to France. Intending to clear himself of the charges he died suddenly, and the charges were eventually reversed or dropped. 1777 Topic. See also List of federal political sex scandals in the United States 2017-18 United States political sexual scandals List of American state and local politicians convicted of crimes List of United States Senators expelled or censured List of American federal politicians convicted of crimes List of United States representatives expelled, censured, or reprimanded List of United States unincorporated territory officials convicted of federal corruption offenses Boeing scandal Notes <laughs>